Hello, you're welcome. How to solve this nice exponential equation solution from here. And what we have, we can rewrite this as 5 raised to power x minus 1 plus 2 here. It will be the same thing as x plus 1 and minus 5 raised to power x minus 1 equals to 16 from here. Then apply the law of indices from a raised to power m plus n equals to a raised to power m times a raised to power n. Here we take x minus 1 as m, then 2 as n. Then we have 5 raised to power x minus 1 times 5 squared, then minus. 5 raised to the power x minus 1 equals to 16 from here. That is here, 5 raised to the power x minus 1 is common. We factor it out. We have 5 raised to the power x minus 1 into bracket 5 square left here, then minus 1 left here equals to 16 from here. That is here. This becomes 5 raised to the power x minus 1 into bracket 5 square is 5 times 5, which is 25 minus 1, then equals to 16 from here. That is, here we have 5 raised to the power x minus 1 multiplied by 25 minus 1, that's 24, equals to 16 from here. The next step, we divide both side by 24. Divide this side by 24. Also, this side by 24. Here, 24 cancel each other. Then, this gives us 5 raised to power x minus 1 equals to 16 over 24. Which also can be written as 5 raised to power x minus 1 equals to 2 times 8 over 3 times 8 and 8 cancel each other here so we have 5 raised to power x minus 1 equals to 2 over 3 and from here we take the log on both sides that is here we have log 5 raised to power x minus 1 equals to log 2 over 3 from here please subscribe to this channel and thank you for your support here we apply the power law of logarithm from log m raised to power p which can be written as p log m then the power here is x minus 1 then this becomes x minus 1 multiplied by log 5 equals to log 2 over 3 from here. And next step here, we divide both sides by log 5. So we divide this side by log 5 and also this side by log 5. And here log 5 cancel each other. So we have x minus 1 equals to log 2 over 3, then over log 5 from here. Then from the law of logarithm from log a over b, which we can write as log a minus log b, from what we have here, then we can separate this and we have x minus 1 equals to log 2 minus log 3 over log 5 from here. And then from here as well, 
we can separate this fraction into two and we have x minus one equals to log two over log five then minus log three over log five from here which implies we can write this again from change of base when we have log a over log b and this is the same thing as log a to base b and we have x minus 1 equals to log 2 to base 5 minus log 3 to base 5 that is from here take minus 1 here and it become plus so we have x equals to 1 plus log 2 to base 5 minus log 3 to base 5 and from here we have the value of x in this given problem as 1 plus log 2 base 5 minus log 3 base 5 now let's check if this will satisfy the given problem from what we have here substituting the value of x we have that is x equals to 1 plus log 2 to base 5 minus log 3 base 5 here then this equation becomes 5 raised to power 1 plus log 2 base 5 minus log 3 base 5 plus 1 here then minus also here 5 raised to power 1 plus log 2 base 5 minus log 3 base 5 minus 1 with this equals to 16 from here then when we simplify we have 1 plus 1 here that's 2 so we have 5 raised to power 2 plus log 2 raised to power 5 minus log 3 log 2 base 5 then log 3 base 5 then minus here yeah, this gives us 1 minus 1 that's cancel out yeah so we are left with 5 raised to power log 2 base 5 minus log 3 base 5 then from here applying the law of indices here a raised to power m plus n same as a raised to power m times a raised to power n and also a raised to power m minus n same as a raised to power m over a raised to power n then from here what we have can be written as 5 square times 5 raised to power log 2 to base 5 then divided by 5 raised to power log 3 to base 5 then minus here we have 5 raised to power log 2 to base 5 divided by 5 raised to power log 3 to base 5 then from what we have here also from the law of logarithm a raised to power log b to base a the same thing as b from here that is what we have here 5 square 5 times 5 that's 25 then times this will become 2 here then over here this becomes 3 then minus also here this becomes 2 then over 3 from here as well with this be equals to 16 from here then what we have here that's 50 over 3 minus 2 over 3 
is it equals to 16 from here then from what we have here the SCM is 3 then this gives us 50 minus 2 which is 48 over 3 is equal to 16 and here this is of course 16 which is equal to 16 from here and we have left hand side equals to 5 hand side and hence from here we conclude that x equals to 1 plus log 2 base 5 minus log 3 base 5 satisfy this given problem and thank you for watching don't forget these steps subscribe for more videos and turn on the notification bell share this video give it a thumbs up see you next class and bye for now